Hi everybody, this is Fred Ferraco. I just want to show you guys how to use AI Reef Cam. So, um, the first thing I want to show you is the filter, how to use it in the settings. So the first thing you do is you click the filter. This, uh, this little circle I have set up is going to show you where I'm tapping. So first thing I do, I'm going to click on my filter button. So it automatically sets uh, an orange filter for you, um, which is made to just block out the blue light. But even when you, if you want to get a close up of one of the corals, you have to, you might need to adjust some settings. So if I'm getting a close up of this coral right here, um, this is where you can change the amount of brightness you want to have in your photo. And, the exp and then this is for the exposure. You can X that out. And here we have an ultra wide setting for a tank like this. This is great. You just have to change the settings to make sure you get the, the color you want. And now th this tank has the Ecotech Radeon lights, the blue ones. So if you snap a picture, you can, um, you click the photo button here. It snaps a picture. It saves it in the photo app, or you could click the record button, and then that that records a video, and then saves it in your in your photos app as well. All right. So now the next thing I want to show you guys. All right. So the next thing I wanted to show you guys is how to use the PAR meter. So you click this light bulb button right here. Now, using the front camera of your phone, it's going to be able to measure the light intensity. So there you have Lux and then you have par of an LED, par of a fluorescent light, or par in daylight. So the front camera needs to focus on the light that's being given out. So if you hold the camera nice and steady in front, let's see, you get it to focus on the spot of the light, there you go. So right here I'm like, uh, I'm about a foot under the radion light, or two feet under. And uh, it's showing me my, oh, showing me just about my par. It's moving as I'm moving the phone. But if you hold it nice and steady, you should get a steady reading of it, which will give you an idea of how intense your lights are. So if you use this possibly with like a waterproof case or just outside the tank so you don't get your phone wet, uh, you can get an idea of how intense your lights are. All right, now the last feature I wanted to show you guys was the, um, the fish identification. So if I, use, if I click this fish right here and I either um, capture a photo of a fish of its side view or I select a photo of a fish with its side view, uh, like I have right, we find a good one, here's one. So if I click on this one, there we go, I loaded the photo, it's a selfin tang. Now it has to be a good side view, if it's not a good side view, it might not give you an accurate um, species, but down here it's showing you the percentage likelihood of what species it is based on um, based on the picture that you gave it. It works with um, it will work with marine uh, marine fish, and I, I didn't do freshwater yet, just just marine fish, and I'm still trying to improve this. So if you guys have any suggestions or ideas, please let me know. Thanks.